update as to what all is going on. And uh, we'll do some shout outs, stuff like that. But go ahead and spin you around here real quick, guys. Sulphur City Designs for all your off-road, mower mudding, modding, and stickage needs. T-shirts, hoodies, magnet decals, regular decals, all kinds of custom work. All kinds of good stuff. Southern Off-Road Mowers, speaking of all kinds of good stuff. Go to them and you can post some junk or not. We love it when you do. We're growing. Getting bigger. Can't believe it. <laughs> good stuff. Bay Hounds, thanks for subscribing, man. I really appreciate it. Edward Dilks, thank you, sir. Marcos Dezingring, thank you. Redneck Dave, thanks, man. And a, a special thanks out to uh, Nebulax123. Man, I certainly appreciate it. I have always wanted to get into doing that, uh, uh, smithing work and uh, knife work. Um, if I can uh, clear it with the boss, I'd love to drive out. I will uh, PM you or uh, email you back or text you back and let you know if I'm able to, uh, cause, so, it, so I won't waste your time if I can't. But man, I really appreciate it and thank you very much for the invite. 845 J Dog, as far as the pulley and the steering on Kudzu, um, I have a lot of problems going on uh, with the pulley situation that are all of my own doing. Um, just, I guess it's kind of like growing pains. Uh, and that's one reason I've been having so many problems with all these transmissions, because in the past, Two months if you look back you know half of the stuff I do is about problems with damn transmissions and I think I got it figured out and it is a design flaw on my part so uh, I'll give it get into that uh, a little bit more Nate Wilson 99 uh, you had mentioned uh, about doing the swapping and everything as far as the Murray Gator yes that is indeed my intention uh, this transmission uh, would go back into the Murray Gator as well as the tires uh, go back into the Murray Gator. I do have some other plans for the Murray Gator. It will stay exactly the same. Um, with a twist. We'll say that. It'll stay the same with a twist. A couple of you know what I'm talking about, uh, what I'm planning on doing, if I can get the money squared up for it. I'm uh, going to have to buy a couple of parts. I don't like buying parts because I always like making my stuff out of... Uh, regular everyday junk that anybody can do but I'm gonna have to buy some sprockets and stuff so that's okay more to come guys okay guys now we're back I'm gonna show you what all is going on um, without having to get under uh, kudzu you know we've got the six inch pulley we've got two three inch double pulleys uh, set up and then we got the uh, four inch pulley in the back and the way it was set up, the way I built it, I had a five inch pulley in the back and a lot smaller pulley in the front. And I was able to run without hitting the gear shift or the uh, steering wheel. And now that I've run different size pulleys, larger in the front, smaller in the back, I'm having a lot of problems out of this. And actually, I, I had sat down and was thinking, oh, well, hell, I may have to spend some money on this when, you know, why? So, the John Deere is set up with a uh, factory rock solid transmission that is positive traction factory that has a factory five inch rear pulley. All I'm going to have to do to that John Deere is to put a bigger pulley on the front and get another belt. All the tires and the bearings are good and everybody's always laughed how not neat kudzu is and it's just well there you can see the way it's bowed in and on both sides. Uh, the, the front end's all shot. So I think it's time to just move on with another build. What I'm going to do is pull the motor. I'm going to pull the winch 
take all the tires off, pull the transmission out, take all the pulleys off. And we're going to be left with a hole in the frame. And that will just have to be the way it is. Uh, and, it, and some people may say, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing that. Well, yeah. Kudzu is actually a combination of uh, several builds that I have done over the past, God, 600 videos. Combination of the Hurry Murray and the Little Murray. And I would learn something and wear out one frame and put it all on another one. And go to the next one and go to the next one. So this is actually three builds. Uh, actually probably four because I didn't name a couple of them that was when nobody was ever watching any of my videos so I mean you're welcome to go back and look but I've done about all I can with this frame and I may name the next one kudzu um, who knows we're back. now there are two things that influence my decision uh, one is getting that John Deere. I mean, the thing runs great. And it's got all the good stuff on there that you would want for mudding. Gonna put some uh, nice aggressive mud tires on there. Uh, that's in the works. Good front end, solid. Gonna cut a little bit on it and uh, extend the front out so it's not so stubby. May put the winch on that. May use that for my recovery vehicle. We're gonna put a hood on it as well. We're gonna fab up something. And absolutely, we're going to put a rack on the hood. Absolutely. Now, something else that I've got coming in, and that may, you might understand why I'm going to get rid of Kudzu. I've uh, got a buddy of mine, Frank B. He's coming down uh, the end of the month from uh, up on Tennessee line, Florence, Tennessee. And he's bringing down two mowers, and he says, I have a Murray GT with a factory 820 and a factory 20 horsepower opposed twin. I, I want to give it to you, but I want you to build me a mower out of the other one that I'm bringing, which is um, uh, it's a Murray wide body, 17 horsepower, something, something like that. Um, and I've got enough stuff and guts to make it run really good for him. So, I'm getting a whole new Murray, uh, and it's exactly what I was trying to make this one. And it should be a lot more dependable in the woods, because I'm getting tired of pushing kudzu out of the woods. The belt is going back. I'm gonna buy one for the length of the John Deere. And I'm going to put a five or a six inch pulley on the front. I think it has a two inch or a three inch factory pulley. So I'll probably put a five inch on it. And I'll have a new Kevlar belt on it. Factory positive traction. Factory rock solid transaxle. And a decent ignition system. Because all of a sudden this thing quit cranking on its own and quit charging the battery. And I know it's just little stuff, but I'm kind of tired of fitting with the little stuff. So, it'll all get changed around, and they're all the same roundabout. I'll also be able to take the pulley back off this one, put it on this one, and get this one situated. I don't know if I'll do treads on it, because I just don't have a lot of time anymore, because uh, of the demands of work. And that has a lot to do with it as well, because I don't have time to keep fixing this thing every time it breaks. Uh-oh. Here comes somebody. What are you doing? Huh? Come to whip me? Oh, with her. Oh, okay. What are we having? We're having bacon. Oh, look at that. We're having bacon. I like bacon. More kind of guys. And that's still with the bad gas. I did clean the plug. Hadn't changed it, but I did clean it. Still idled a little bit too high for me. But it's okay. And it's nice and quiet. It will make it quieter. More to come, guys. You'll like it. Guys, that's kind of where we stand. 
I know this video has kind of run along a little bit with uh, the ramblings and everything. I may, I may keep this all as one video. Yesterday's video, I broke it into two pieces and fell asleep uh, doing the second one. Uh, you know, I go to bed at 8:30 anyway, so what do you expect? But just uh, keep watching. Gonna be some changes to them. I, I would prefer to ride them than work on them all the time, and. I sure do love building them for people, so I'm tickled that Frank uh, thinks enough of me to come down because he's he's one of these big uh, uh, UTV uh, fancy go-kart guys. Um, so I'm really tickled that he thinks enough of me to uh, come down and do it. Uh, we've been, hell, we've been friends for, damn, a long time, but enough of that. Getting ready to head into the house now. As you saw in the previous video, when you tried to stick the frozen bacon in my pants, we're having, uh, I think we're having bacon. I know that, we're having bacon. It's cold though, it's cold bacon. You know how she is. Guys, I really appreciate you watching. Much silly stuff. Sometimes we do stuff, that's pretty good though. Thanks for watching. Y'all gonna make some mayhem.